This week's bonus task deals with prime numbers. I guess I do not have to explain what prime numbers are all about. So what is your task? You have to write, you have to implement two functions. The first one is is prime, and is prime gets as an input an integer and it returns true if this integer is prime and false if it is not. And the second function is prime list. So again, you get an integer as input and then you should get as a return value a list creating all prime numbers starting from 2 to this integer from this list. For example, yeah, if you give as an input to this second function 100, then the following list should be created 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on and so on until 97, which is the final number. So the return value is a list containing prime numbers. What's our function is prime doing? So we get a candidate for a prime as input and then we are running. We are running through a range starting from 2. We do not want to check the 1 as a divisor and running up to Kant and Kant is not included. So this range goes from 2 to Kant minus 1. And if one of those is able to divide the um, candidate yeah, and the result is 0, so um, we have this modulo again, then actually our number is not a prime and we do not have to continue any more checking so we directly can jump out of this function with our return false. However, if we go through it and we never got out of it, then um, no number has been able to divide our candidate so it's a prime number. Let's go and check. So we can simply type um, print is prime and now let's check this um, 13 which is true so it's a prime let's check a thousand um, it's false um, maybe we can check this 97 seems to be a little bit more complex etc fine this function seems to work Let's have a look at the second function, which is prime list. Yeah, we have again a parameter none, which is uh, given as an input. We first create an empty list because we would like to include, we would like to append all numbers which we identify as prime numbers into this list. And now we start again running through a range starting from 2 going up to num plus 1 because we would like to include this final number here as well and then we'd say if it is prime for this one we use our function is prime we list primes append this number to our list and finally return our list again let's check prime list print prime list from 100 and we can see this is the same list as we have above. Of course we can check bigger numbers. Let's go for the first 10,000. It takes a second but then you can see now yeah, we go up to 9973. It seems uh, that these could be true that these numbers are all prime numbers. Fine. And finally, we include a main program which executes, which makes use of these functions. So what is this main program doing? We first get an integer. You see, we ask via input, cast it through the int. And then we print out simply the result of our prime list function with the parameter num we have just got before. Again, let's run this function. So I'll enter the 100 and I'll get my list from prime numbers from 2 to 97. 